Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out comparator operations. These are very crucial operations that you will be using quite often to compare many different kinds of data and uh, values to achieve desired results in your program. So the first one up, we're going to be checking out uh, equal. What does uh, this comparator do? It will compare two different values. Those values can come from anywhere. It can be just a value by itself, which we are going to be using throughout this uh, video which is going to be 10 in a bottom, that's what we're comparing against. And as you can see at the moment, it shows me a red because it doesn't know what it's comparing. So as soon as we're going to give it, what I'm going to do in here on top, we're going to tell him we are going to be comparing the counter value. So and I, and I counter value with the value that is in a CV, which we're going to say whatever the value is going to be in this CV in here, we will be comparing against that. So that's where our incoming value will be coming from. As you can see, it automatically and knew that it is an integer value so and uh, on the bottom a uh, straight way change from red to blue and he's happy with it and here as you can see you by double clicking on a little top in here it allows you to change between different uh, compares and also as you can see this compare can compare many many different types of data for now we're going to be sticking just comparing integer values which is a solid values without no decimals so for it to work we need to give him a, a coil something to activate so in here we're just gonna give him a memory bit that so let's pump in let's have a look how that works and here we go as you can see at the moment my my top value stands at zero my bottom value stands at 10 so the output is off if we count up all the way to 10 output will uh, come on and stay on as long as it is 10 and 10 if i move above or go below the output will be off and that is equal compare next up let's check out this guy which is not equal so let's change that right in here on the top not equal and as you can see in here my output is on now when it is on now but as soon as i put in 10 the output goes off pretty much self-explanatory if i go one above output comes on if i go back to 10 output goes off basically that's what equal uh, that's what pretty much says not equal as long as the values are above 10 or below 10 output is on if it's 10 and 10 output is off next up let's check out greater or equal if you are remember from school days this should be a very self-explanatory let's update the block and as you can see it is equaling 10 or it could be a greater so let's go one above as you can see it stays on but as soon as it is 10 which it would be equal to 10 and 10 and if it goes below the output goes off because it's no longer equal or greater it is less so as soon as we go into 10 and anything above output will stay on that is greater or equal next up let's check out the less or equal let's update the block and as you can see in here, the uh, 9 at the moment clearly keeping the output on. But as soon as we go above 10, because it is not less and not equal, it's above 10, so the output goes off. But if it is 10 and below 10, anything like that will keep the output on. And that is less or equal. Next up, let's check out greater than. So let's have a look how that works. As you can see in here, value on top is 9 and the bottom is 10. But even if I go into 10, it is not greater than 10. So output will not come on unless it goes into 11. It is greater than 10. So anything below 10 or below will not work. But if it is above 10, which would be 11 in our case, will go on. And the same would go in a less than, which would be this guy. And as you can see in here, I am above 11, so if I go down to 10, it will still not work. But as soon as I hit 9, it will work. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is less than. These are very basic inst math instructions that we have all learned, hopefully, in school when we were going in our primary school. So that is pretty much very useful instructions that can be used anywhere to compare any different types within your program. Next up, let's check out in range. What does that do? 
as you can see in here in range means that we have to give a minimum maximum value as long as the data that you are comparing is within that range the output will be on and again as you can see in here in here we can select different types of data that we want to a uh, uh, compare so in our case we're going to be again integer so i'm going to say that's going to be between 10 and give him a 20 and as you can see in here i'm going to be using again my count uh, my counter that is going to be sending values in so let's compile it and here we go as you can see in here my value at the moment stands at 9 and my output is off as soon as i will hit 10 as you can see the output staying on as long as i am within that range as soon as i go out of the range which goes above 20 the output goes off if i get back in the range the output is staying on so that is in range so the next up is going to be out of range like is uh other brother this one is going to be looking for a uh, values that are outside the range so let's have a look at this so we're going to give him again 10 and give him a 20 as you can see in here it, it shows red because it doesn't know oh, what is it what, what is he supposed to be compare against so we're going to tell him that the values are integers so in here we are going to say that is going to be coming from our counter again so let's pump that in let's see how that works and as you can see in here at the moment my value sits within 70 but my output is off as i said like uh, in range now the value has to for him to go on the value has to be out of the range which is below 10 and above 20 so let's check that out so we go up and as soon as we hit 21 which is out of range and output goes on and that is out of range all right guys the next one we are going to be checking it is check validity what this guy do he queries if the value of the tag is valid floating point number which is the real value so let's have a look at how that would work so if i put this guy in here he will only accept a md tag in here which is the double word for that we're gonna i have created this little move in here which is going to move 10.0 into the md0 so let me put that on top of our okay in here as long as he sees that there is a valid floating point which is in our case is going to be 10.0 he will let signal go through so let's have a look how that works and here we go as you can see he sees valid at the floating point and he lets the signal go through so let's see what happens if uh, that uh, this part this floating point actually breaks and for that what i'm going to do i am going to change some things around in here just to illustrate the possibility of what could happen we're going to change that one to a integer and obviously in here i'm going to change that uh, real value into a uh, word in here so which is going to be my integer this guy in here so uh oh, let's just change that one to take that zero off in here so now he's happy in here so in this way i have just broken the code so uh, something's gone wrong so anything could happen so i'm just giving you what could possibly happen in here why this would be very very useful and as you can see in here the code has been changed something has gone wrong and i'm seeing some very weird value in a uh, md0 and so what this guy what this little guy in here this uh, check validity says hey that's no longer a valid valid floating point i'm not let signal through and whoever programmed it or a programmer and things like that he will need to investigate it so next up as well what we can do in here we can change this one put in here not okay so when that not okay happens he can initiate a Radio. signal now he's going to let signal through and as you can see in here i can start working with uh, with my out of range uh, block in here so sort of illustrating to you that what you can do i, I could see that because uh, i'm programmed enough so really to get into this so to give you a sort of idea what a check validity means and that is a check validity okay and check validity not okay